once it clicks those fundamental pieces in your brain, you will literally be skating circles around people, I promise you. Let's set these up while we talk about why you still can't roller skate. Number one, we're not distributing our weight properly. Most likely, you're still trying to walk on skates instead of shifting your weight from side to side, or you're leaning back, which is nightmare fuel. Oh, that can actually lead to you falling on your backside. So if you're wondering, how do I fall on my backside? Like, that's how you do it. The solution is gonna be to lean forward slightly. You wanna make sure that you're keeping your weight centered over the wheels. That's what's gonna help you maintain balance and control. Number two, your posture's off. And normally what happens when our posture's off is we're hunching too far forward, or maybe our feet are too close together or they're too wide. Sometimes we end up like clipping our own wheels and that's gonna throw you off of your stability as well. The solution is when you're on your skates, you wanna make sure to stand up tall. You wanna tighten your core. I'm struggling to get this started. <laughs> and make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart. When you're standing up and you feel like you're losing control or the space between your thighs starts to get too wide, you wanna squeeze your thighs together to bring them back into the fold. If they get too close together, you're gonna do the exact opposite and make sure that you're pushing your thighs out. When it comes to not hunching over, <laughs> or just like, you know, just a little. <laughs> When it comes to not doing that, the best way I've learned is just to stand as tall as possible. What helps me is to imagine that there's like a string that's pulling up from the top of my head. So I'm here and the string is here and we're lifting up. That's gonna immediately improve your posture and your balance. You'll be surprised at how much more stable you feel when you're not like hunched over. The better control and stability that you have, the better experience this is going to be. Another contributor to incorrect posture that can really jack us up is you won't bend the knee. Bend the knee. Bend the knee. Bend the knee. It takes no time to bend the knee. Bend the knee. Bend the knee. You refuse to bend the knee. Straight, I'm just gonna keep a G real with you. If you wanna fall, stand up straight and refuse to bend your knees. Refuse to bend your knees. Not only that, but you're gonna have a lot of trouble maneuvering your skate if your knees are straight. Important to understand, we're not walking on our skates. Our skates are not shoes, <laughs> they're skates. And so if we're not bending our knees, we're removing our ability to have shock absorbers. When we have our knees bent, we're able to have better balance and better control. We're able to hit that, oh no, go low, which is like my number one favorite way to avoid falling down. The skeeters are out. A good way to remember this is just keep repeating, bend your knees, bend your knees. That was, mosquitoes are like my number one enemy. They have the whole entire area, the whole sky, and they choose to come over here and mess with me. It's just, it's disrespectful. I don't really know any other way to put it. It's just, it's just very disrespectful. Anyways, bend, bend, bend my knees, bend my knees, bend my knees, bend my knees is a mantra that you should keep playing in your head if you want to be successful at skating. Don't let it happen again. Bend the knee. Four, you're rocking the wrong skates. You know, you were super excited. You cop these skates that are just a little bit too big for you. Got some wiggle room, but it's okay. You'll just wear big socks. No, baby. I'm here to tell you that it, it's it's not okay. Never has been okay. It, it will never be okay. Because one thing that it was, never was that serious. It's, it's never been that serious for us to wear skates that do not fit us. We need to have appropriate footwear. Ring skates uh, aren't gonna cut it. I'm so sorry to tell you. Ring skates are not going to cut it. You need to wear roller skates that fit well and that have proper ankle support. It's not even just about the fit. It's about, does this support my ankle? Okay. Is my ankle stable? Am I increasing my risk of injury by putting on these skates that are too big or too small for me because I want to skate? You do not need to skate that badly. Okay. That we're increasing our risk of injury any more than we're already increasing it by having eight wheels strapped to our feet. Ooh, got him. Ooh, they trying to snack on me out here. Oof. Investing in a good pair of skates is honestly going to be a game changer, but I get it. We don't know if we're even gonna like this. I don't wanna drop all these fat stacks on skates if it's not gonna be good for me. I hear you, I hear you, I see you. Check out my video reviewing skates under $100 so you can cop some budget-friendly options. Now that I think about it, you really only have three options here. You're either going to 
<laughs> You're either gonna invest in a good pair of skates, which is gonna be pricey, you might have to like work up to that. Cop a new budget-friendly pair of skates. Or you can get some pre-owned of some more expensive skates. I've seen tons of deals on Facebook, Mercari, Reddit even. I've even seen some sometimes skaters post their skates on Instagram for a quarter of what that price would have been. So as long as like people have taken care of them the, that entire time, I would. that's no big deal. It's better than you rocking skates that are two sizes, too small or too big. You'd be surprised at the gems that you will find, especially uh, like at the end of the summer for all of the people who thought that they were gonna roller skate, but they didn't watch this video. So they probably stopped before they really fell in love with it. They like sell their skates. Spring cleaning too was another good one to come up on some, some nice skates. All right, so number five is gonna be lack of protective gear. So we got two camps here when it comes to protective gear. Little Miss Perfectionism, who's afraid to fall in front of other people. And then we got Little Miss Scared to Fall because she's 31 and just got laid off. And so now she's out here living absolutely reckless without health insurance. Ooh, ooh, I like when I get them in the middle of it. Like, oh, you were trying to feast on me. It wouldn't be so bad, but some of them get so greedy. Like, I don't mind if you take a little bit. I don't mind if you take a little bit. It's when they're gorging on you. When it's like, it's obvious that you've been here for a while and you've just been snacking. Now you got greedy and now I have to destroy you. Nymeria. We're gonna put some Moxie Fun Days on here so we can skate outside with these. Apologies. Okay, where were we? So the answer to the center of both of those Venn diagrams Oh, I hate mosquitoes so much. All right, let's go get some bug spray, because I can't. You want to go inside, Tober? Here, go inside. Come on, Nye. You coming? You're going to chill out here with me, then? So the solution for both of those misses is wearing protective gear. <laughs> I think that as beginners, we tend to really like overlook the, especially adult beginners, we tend to overlook the importance of wearing safety gear. But let me be the first one to tell you, okay, safety is sexy, all right? Safety is sexy. And when you really process that, that your failure to wear protective gear can result in not only injuries, but hinder your progress. If you're spending all of your time being afraid on skates or afraid to fall, that's most likely what's going to make you fall. You're gonna spend a lot of time like overcompensating because you're afraid to fall and eventually like lead to you falling. I think you don't really realize that when you're skating, you think that you're gonna stop yourself from falling, but in actuality, you're gonna just like make it worse. I think that you have to understand that when you first start skating, you're building a new relationship with your body. First, you're gonna be discombobulated like a little baby deer. And when you wear protective gear, you're gonna defo improve your confidence. If you improve your confidence and it decreases your fear of falling, you're gonna be able to enjoy yourself a lot more because no matter what, everybody's gotta pay the floor tax, baby. Everybody's gotta pay the floor tax. Even you, boo, I'm sorry, you too. I think I stressed this one the hardest for beginners because it honestly only takes one fall too early in the process. It's different if you take a, a tumble and you got some time in, you know, but if you take a fall too early in the process, that's you might end up deciding that roller skating isn't for you and then just give up, which is like not, it's not fair. You have to give yourself a full shot. You know, skate at your own risk and take your gear off after you've built up a relationship with your body and you know and understand and you've learned the fundamentals, 100% do it. But you can, you. it's easier to start up here and then go down than it is to start down here and then go up. So start up here and then if you want to take it off, take it off, but start there. If anything, just to help you gain that foundation. I also have a video, be sure to check it out on skate safety, separate the wheat from the chaff, <laughs> save you some money, help you get through the muck so that you don't get overwhelmed about like, okay, what do I need to buy or what shouldn't I waste my money on? Number six, you're doing too much, baby. You're doing too much and you're frustrating yourself. And this usually happens when we start trying to perform, when we start trying to do skate moves that are just like a little bit too outside of our scope. A little bit outside of our scope right now doesn't mean that they'll be outside of our scope forever or we end up falling victim to information overload and just freezing. <laughs> so the solution to that is going to be just to not skip the basics. It might be helpful to remember that every single skate move is a combination of body position, rotation, edges, 
and weight distribution. Every single skate move is a combination of those four elements. Every skate move is what is your body position? Which way do you need to rotate? Which edges are you going to be on? How am I distributing my weight to make this happen? Every single skate move, you will be able to break down into those four elements. Once it clicks those fundamental pieces in your brain, you will literally be skating circles around people. I promise you. Hear me now when I say this, you will literally be skating circles around people once you lock down those fundamentals. But if you, if you skip spending time with any of those areas, you're gonna feel it. It's gonna lead to you being frustrated with yourself and you're gonna take yourself out the game. Number seven, One of the reasons I see most often is ego, okay? I'm not trying to put anybody on blast, okay? But you give up too soon, okay? For some reason, you feel like you should immediately be good at things that you haven't spent any time learning how to do. <laughs> you haven't put any time in, and yet you feel like I should be good at this already. That there is nothing but ego, baby. You have to understand that you're a newborn right now. Okay, you just put on skates seven minutes ago for the first time. In the grand scheme of things, you're a newborn. When's the last time that you got mad at a newborn? That you got annoyed with a newborn for not being able to do something immediately <laughs> after experiencing it for the first time? If it was recently, maybe like don't, maybe chill out. Maybe like take it easy on the kid. Maybe cut them some slack, okay? It's cool, it's cool, be patient. Hey, look at me. We are going to hit our goal of getting as many people roller skating as possible. Chill down. Don't even trip, dog. I got you. Number nine, maybe it's not any of those and maybe you just need a little inspiration. But like the good kind, not the compare myself to others unfairly kind. Because you're a newborn, remember? That's okay. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm like, I'm a toddler right now. I've been skating for two years, so I'm a toddler. I'm okay with being a toddler. Be okay with being a newborn. There's fantastic things about where you are right now in the journey, but if you're looking past the journey, then you can't enjoy it. So something that has always helped me enjoy the journey, and hopefully it might help you too, is to make a vision board. And it's gonna sound so cheesy. People are gonna be like, oh, I don't want a vision board. Okay, look. I consider myself a manifesting generator, okay? And when I put my mind to something, it is literally a matter of time before I make it happen. And I'm telling you the only way that this is possible is because I make vision boards, because I create a vision. So if you rock with me, I need you to understand I will not lead you astray. Make a vision board. Why do you even wanna learn how to roller skate? Do you wanna just have fun? Do you wanna pick up a new hobby? Do you want to make friends? Do you wanna exercise? What is the reason? What is the reason? And add that to your board. Be realistic. Actually, be unrealistic. Just be really, really clear. Don't be vague. Why are you wanting to skate? Oh, cause your friends do it? Great, that's a good reason. That's a good reason to want to roller skate. Put a picture of your friends and you roller skating on your vision board. Be very, very clear on why you're wanting to try something new. The details matter. Your details matter. It's worth it. You're worth getting clear on the details of why you're doing something. In my roller skating course, Roll With The Flow, I have a skate companion tool, a tool that acts as a home base. All of your roller skate dreams and goals. You can create a digital vision board inside of it, keep track of your progress, upload progress videos, all that fun stuff all in one place. It's so that you can just keep your goals at the front of your mind. Out of sight, out of mind. A quote that I love by Napoleon Hill, and he says, a goal, a, a goal is just a dream, a goal. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. Goal is a dream with a deadline. Again, this is roller skating. This is not, this is not a quarterly meeting. This is supposed to be fun, but you, st you can still set some soft deadlines. Like an example of a soft deadline would look something like in 30 days, I'd like to be able to, you know, do toe manuals, or I'd like to be able to dip. You know, in six months, I'd like to, you know, skate in the, mid in the middle of the roller skating rink. Or, you know, hey, by next summer, I'd like to be able to skate groove in public. Like, that's a goal, baby. That's a goal. When I first started skating, I started skating in January of 2021. And the, I only had one goal. I only had one goal. It was something that I just kept repeating to myself. And it was, I wanna be, I wanna be cold by the summertime. I wanna be cold on skates. And for 
the folks who don't know what be cold means, it just basically means be fire. <laughs> be cold means be fire. <laughs> it basically means I just wanted to, I wanted to be icy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I cracked myself up. I wanted to be very good on my skates, okay? I wanted to, I wanted to be cold by the summertime. I wanted to be very good. I don't want to say very good, but I wanted it, I wanted to be good enough to where it was obvious that I had been working for six months. But that was it. That was the only goal, be cold by summertime. And it got me to the point where now I'm sitting in front of you trying to tell you a list of the common mistakes that we beginners tend to make and how to avoid them so that you can also participate in this party that I am so excited to invite you to. Think about it. Whatever you think that you want to do or whatever you think that you want to learn on roller skates, you 100% can. You just have to sit still and figure it out. Figure out what you want to do. And then once you figure it out, that's it. Figure out what you want to do. After you create a vision and you put it in your vision board, you figured out what you want to do. Do that shit on purpose, okay? Do it on purpose. Be intentional, purposeful. It's not an accident. Please don't watch any of my videos and go, oh my God, this person is so talented. I started skating January of 2021. I am just obsessed, okay? I'm obsessed. You need to get obsessed if you want to be good. That's it. There's no talent or you were born this way. I was a newborn. <laughs> Figure out what you want to do and then do it on purpose. Okay? That is it, my loves. Go out and do. I will see you in the next one.